You ready? Oh yeah. Three, two, one, go. Uh, good, how fast was it? I don't know, you'll show me later. Thank you. Yeah. Come again. Come again. As I, as I catch my breath, I should explain why that is so cool to me. So I used to own a Jeep. I owned a JK, the previous generation to the new JL that we have here. And that whole process was like taking off a straight jacket. There were so many zippers and annoying little things you had to do before you could actually make things go down. I just did that in, I don't know, less than a minute. So it was so much easier. And that's the whole theme of the new Wrangler. It's that they just make everything easier. It's still a body on frame, solid axle, beast of an off-road vehicle, but they just made it nicer to live with on a daily basis. So the top is just one example of that. And I think we should point out some of the other reasons why it's still a Jeep, and yet it's a Jeep that you kind of want to live with now. Oh, you're up there. Uh, just playing around with the interior. It's really freaking rad, actually. So, I mean, in every way, it's an upgrade over the JK that I had, but still got front and rear locking differentials. You can disconnect the sway bar. It's got a two-speed manual transfer case. It's got a manual transmission. Look at that. Window switches are in the center. I mean, this is, this is all custom Jeep stuff. This is all like it's supposed to be, but it's all nicer somehow, which I'm not mad about. Now, I am noticing this weird little red thing. What is that? Oh, you pull that up and that's how you get to reverse. That's so simple, simple but so cool. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it in other cars. Yeah. It's, it's not that unusual, but it's, it's, it's done, just... It's done really it's well. It's done really well. And it all looks really nice. Like, I'm not gonna say this is like the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, but there are certain details of this that you could confuse for uh, for the wagon, so that's uh, that's a credit to Jeep's interior design. Now, huh. let's, let's for the folks that love buttons and switches, yeah. just show all the buttons and switches, and by show, I mean just play with them all. Okay, well I can do that. I can make the windows go up uh, when I turn the car on. <laughs> make the windows go up. Look it's at mine. Working. It's going up. It's working. It's going up. I can make the windows lock or unlock. Oh, that's a nice feel. That is a nice. It's like this is like the fidget spinner of vehicle. Oh, absolutely. Hey, check this out. So I'm in neutral, right? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm just gonna put that in four high. Yep. If that's not good enough, I can. Oh, I can't get into four low right go now. Ahead. Look just at the camera trying to get into four low. Intensity. Intensity, I'm in neutral, yeah. Are you really trying? Yeah, I'm, dip, I'm giving it my all. There it is. You got it? What you oh, doing? I'm getting it back. There we go, we're back in too high. Were you filming again? <laughs> Good. Hey, check out this new infotainment system. Okay, this is actually something, this is so car review-y, but at the same time, it's not. It's, I'm like geeking out over this. That is a really cool infotainment system. Go, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Okay, the water is moving. What? That is so funny, that is so not necessary. So not necessary, it's cool. But I really like their Uconnect system and obviously it's on other Fiat Chrysler vehicles, but it's super easy to use. They've got apps for everything. Yeah, yeah I, really I dig nice. this, it's That's really cool. cool. Can you show me under the hood? Of course I can. Yeah. Now because this is a Jeep, it's not as simple as just releasing the hood lever and just opening the hood. You had to press down here, release this latch, and then the secondary uh, hook comes off. You go to the other side, pull this off, press down, and this releases theoretically. There it is, found it. Then you pull up, then you pull this over, and then I can show you the uh -huh. engine. Oh, and uh, this thing is up here. It's not down here across the front like they usually are. I don't know whether that's more efficient or not, but it's cool. I just love that everything is so tactile. You have to play with everything to get it to work, and that's that's the beauty of a Wrangler. You know, you, you can't just, it's not the easy way out. 
and yet some things are easier, but the things that are easier are things that you wouldn't want to have to mess with on a daily basis. The soft top, on a whim, you can take it off. The doors, well that takes a little more effort, but you can still take them off. Look at these tires too. These are the biggest tires they've ever put on a factory production Wrangler. They're 33 inch all-terrain from BFG. Combined with the skip plates and the rock sliders and the locking diffs and all that, there just wasn't an obstacle we faced that this wouldn't easily climb over. It's still a Wrangler. It looks like a Wrangler's supposed to. It wheels like a Wrangler's supposed to. But now you drive it around town and it feels like any other SUV. So that's pretty rad. So one thing I didn't mention is that it may have been really easy to take the top down, but it takes a little more effort to put it back up. It's not, it's not really, really hard. I'm fine. You want me to leave like this? Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with this. You no, don't see any good. issues? It looks great. You're gonna meet me at the restaurant? Yeah, I'll meet you there. All right.